pretty much established camp, and we're uh, getting hot water boiled and uh, food food prepared. We're going to be here for a short amount of time. This is my tent. Wanted to kind of let you see the inside of it. First off, here's my tent mate. I'm Eric. So what's up? There's Eric. How are you guys doing? He's uh, aspiring to be a college student here soon. Yes. Do you know, do you know what you're studying yet? He has no idea, but he has lots of time to think about it. Yeah, this is so, what this trip for. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Good cord, and we're done. Now, water and some of the things we have to keep warm so we can be able to climb the next day in, trying to dry our socks out. Um, tool paper and our hygiene kits and stuff. We're waiting on dinner chow right now, as you can see. I have yesterday's dinner and this morning's breakfast still in there. A quick 360 from Camp 1. There's Denali right there. And there's our objective for tomorrow which is Ski Hill. Um, we'll carry our, our sleds up there all the way up to 11,000 camp at Camp 3. Climbing up to 11,000 feet. There's Solve, Beast. How you feeling there, Brian? Oh, doing good. Doing good? Good That's what I'm talking about. How you doing, Kearney? Good. And there's Billy at the very end there. We're at 11,000 feet camp, camp three. Made our way up from the top of Ski Hill. And we, uh, we're gonna do a double carry, so we carried half our loads up here. Um, it's a beautiful view up here. I'm gonna do a quick 360 off to the, uh, looking down, down glacier. Um, got the Kahiltna Pass up there. There's the Kahiltna Dome. And then down there is where we came from. Continuing south, we got Mount Forker peeking up over the ridge there. We got the team. There's Dan. We got one of, some of the team in the team tent there. There's me and Eric's spot. Couldn't ask for a better spot. Got my guide on flying. Got some more teams rolling in. Now tomorrow we got uh, uh, Motorcycle Hill, and that will go all the way up. And then once you get towards that little, where it looks like it tops out, it'll continue up to the right where Squirrel Hill is. And then if you look at the West Buttress Main, which is right there, that goes down. And at the very end of that is Windy Corner, where in a few days we'll push to get a cache put in place. Weather pending, but so far it's been nothing but beautiful weather. Kearney's loading his bag, Mike, Billy, Brian, that looks so depressed, <laughs> and his Eric, yeah. came down a lot of wind, down glacier.
but the wind was too bad, couldn't go anywhere. But tomorrow the weather's looking pretty good, and uh, we're going to be looking to head up towards Windy Corner and put our cash in finally. And then if the weather stays good, the next day we'll be heading up to 14 camp and change camp. So, wish us luck. Hello, people of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Down around the corner there was Motorcycle Hill. We're about an hour out from 14 camp. But if you look up that way around that big crevasse, on top of that little plateau over there, is 14 camp. There is Denali looking towards the summit and Eric messing up the shot There's Parker And there is Windy Corner and We just came around that end of Windy Corner well, It's May 18th, 1845 And about three hours ago we made our way up to 14 camp And then right up there is the head wall Heading towards Washburn's Thumb. Follow the ridge on the West Buttress. 17 camp, which is right behind that little ledge there. And then all on the way up the ridge line to the summit of Denali. A little snowy and cloudy. but it's looking better in the next couple of days. So we're going to uh, open tomorrow and we'll bring the cash up to 16.5 of the Washburn's Thumb.
Well, it's 17.45 on the 20th of May, and we got the cash up on top of the fixed lines. Um, and now that we are back in camp, we are being very productive, and the team is playing cards. And eating crackers. And eating crackers. Multi-grain crackers, only the best in our awesome posh tip. Those stuff were smashed. Yeah, out the trees, we don't bro. care. Because Dan <laughs> sat on them all. <laughs> Way to go, Dan. Minute 14 camp here for, I don't know, lost track of the days. I think it's like eight or nine days now. Um, weather's still not looking great. Um, down here at 14,000 and on the little glacier, it's been a beautiful day. As you can see, you got Foraker. Can't see on the little glacier there. Um, looking up towards the 1617 ridge, that's the, the problem spot here. You got high winds, you don't want to be up there, and that's what we're waiting on. You see a diving board there, and just beyond that over there is 17 camp, which we're trying to get to, but until these winds go down, it's not looking like it. And you can see the lenticular clouds sitting on top of Denali right now. So, which is always telling of high winds. Until that goes away, we're stuck. I'm lower on food and fuel. There's about two days left of that, so. We're at the mercy of the weather right now, so we'll see what happens. building Friday and that's what we're looking for the high pressure system and that's what we 
don't want is the 50 to 65 mile an hour winds at high camp. And you can see down, down Glacier, that's the Alaska Range, Forker, and then around towards Wickersham Dome and Windy Corner. That being said, we're going to sit tight and uh, try and move up Friday. Well, 1650 uh, 29th of May and we have finally after 10 days of staying at 14,000 feet we finally made it up to 17 camp and uh, got in around 1230 left 14 around 07 got up around 1230 and uh, just been pretty much making camp at uh, a couple cash tents that were up here which made life a little bit easier walking up made a little wall around it down that way is nothing but clouds. Um, down in that over, over the little cliff there, face there is down looking towards 14 camp. There's the Emergency National Park Service um, cache right there. Thousand meters of emergency rope. And then we got some teams coming in. Coming all around, there's another national park camp. And then now I'll switch all the way around to the Autobahn. And then at the top there, a little saddle is Denali Pass. And that's what we're, that's our goal for tomorrow. Climbing! Oh my god. Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 